Hey everyone, Eric here from Mapfix. Got another video for you guys today. Hope you guys are all doing well. We got another mail in. Man, you guys love sending in the MacBooks to us with the box. It looks like it's labeled as an M4, which is pretty crazy. If you guys didn't already know, we're located right outside of Washington, D.C., Northern Virginia, and Alexandria. We take local walk ins, usually for MacBook repairs, even MacBooks for data recoveries. We also have a mail in service for you guys to fill out and you guys can send in your MacBook. Oh, wait, this isn't an M4. So it comes out and uh, this is uh, it's very nice though. It looks like it's M1 Pro, this is A2442. Uh, I believe this is like a 2021 model. This one's in here. Um, for what we are aware of, this is supposed to be a liquid spill. I was kind of hoping it was an M4 for you guys to show for liquid spill, but this one's still very, very nice because it's the M1 Pro model. 14 inch, it's very, very heavy, very nice. So it's liquid spill. Okay, let's lift this up. So we have the board out and so we can clearly see the liquid damage here in that corner right up there but let's go under the microscope let's go over here because <laughs> i think you guys actually really want to see it so let's go ahead let's go under there and get some light there we go let's take a look okay there's your affected area so if you look at the side we can kind of see let's see what these areas actually are so we have our board view and this is basically a map of the board itself uh, let's take a look at the area. The area is over here. Remember there's these two big chips and you have this one. So the, you got the UN480 and then the UC260. The UN480 if you look is is basically like um, you can see NAND in there. That usually means some type of power to the NAND itself there. Right if you see something like that that probably means everything around this area uh, is, is uh, has something to do with the NAND right because when you have a main chip here you usually have like capacitors you get resistors that are also part of that circuit we, we know that there was liquid damage around here which is the cn491 which is your um which is another part of the power circuit for the nand itself there um, and the other chip below that which we may need to do a replacement for also is just like a power ic okay so now since we kind of know what it is what's going on where the area is let's go ahead and fix it So this resistor actually looks to be okay. Uh, this is a bit charred here though. Once it's completely black there, we just want to replace it because it's going to probably cause a problem, especially that it's a NAND uh, power line. So we don't want to have that problem with that. So let's go ahead and just remove it and then we'll check our big IC chip and see how that looks. So if we look at this chip, uh, we can see the pads all on the one side very well, but on that other top side, we only see one sticking out. So this one we definitely need to replace. Okay, so the pads here look to be fine. Let's flip this over. Let's see. Whoops, let's just flip it over and see. So this actually looks okay. Um, maybe just some of the, the pads um, were a little bit damaged, but even doing the hot air and flux looked to be okay there. We can still replace it with another one anyways. I think that's good.
we got a little bit over here. Um, we'll check it because uh, we replaced what we needed to replace. Okay, let's take a look now. So. All right, good as new, right? Looks good. We fixed it. So let's go ahead and uh, test it. Everything at least plugged away. It's not uh, screwed, but that's the whole point. So let's turn it on. It shouldn't turn on until I give it power for the first time, uh, especially when you remove the battery. Where's my connector? Oh, it's here. So sloppy. I have it always perfect and then, oh man. Oh, where is it? My connection. There we go. Okay, here we go. So I have my MagSafe. Let's plug in the MagSafe. Make sure power is on. Okay, we got the MagSafe light. And oh, we're hit right with a uh, restore. <laughs> oh man. So this is, uh, looks like there's a firmware issue. Now, we hope that there isn't um, an actual problem with uh, the SSD. Let's see if I can get to like a recovery mode. Otherwise we could just do like, um, you just do a DFU mode. Well, it goes right away again. So it's going to restore every time. Uh, I tried a few things and it'll always go to restore mode. It's like it's holding a charge there, which is good. So when you have liquid damage like this and you also have a device, especially the Apple Silicon or any of the ones that are usually from 2018 and a little bit newer, they have a security chip that's on there. So it's firmware. Um, if some type of NAND got impacted, if it thinks there's no operating system, or anything else happens, you can get something like this. And this is, uh, we would need to do a firmware restore on it. We have an in-depth video on how to do this type of work for restore mode. Two different methods for it. We're just, uh, the customer isn't concerned about the data. So if we need to wipe it, we're fine to, to wipe that. We're just gonna get make sure it powers on and works. So the prompt pretty much tells us what to do. Uh, you have to go to the website and it gives you instructions. It's pretty much like you have to connect another MacBook to it and um, you're gonna be restoring, restoring a whole firmware uh, back to the device. Now this method does wipe the whole data, but it is a method to ensure that it's gonna power on and work properly. The finished here, it told me on the other screen to uh, disconnect Mac, so it looks like we're good. Okay, and it's like a brand new uh, computer. Hello. So we're able to fix the A2442 2021 M1 Pro MacBook Pro with the liquid damage, and we also did have to do um, uh, work with the firmware to uh, restore it uh, back to a working MacBook. So if you guys are interested in doing a MacBook repair with us with a MacBook liquid spill, MacBook day recovery, um, or just any type of fix for a MacBook, if you guys are out of state, all the contact information is located in the description down below. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.